House Republicans and specifically House Oversight Chair James Comer claim that President Joe Biden and his family have secretly enriched themselves during his time in government through foreign cash. Now, these accusations and these investigations have been ongoing and what Comer and Republicans like him have been asked over and over again is, where's the evidence? Show us the evidence. And so the problem is they haven't been showing any evidence, even though they claim they've got whistleblowers and informants. So one of Comer's claims is that as soon as President Joe Biden was inaugurated, the first thing he did was cancel something known as the China Initiative, which was implemented by the Trump administration. So let's take a look at that accusation. And by the way, he claims that Biden did this specifically because China paid him to. Let's watch. Did he get paid for canceling the China Initiative? Well, this is one of the policy decisions that Joe Biden made that makes no sense. Uh, the China Initiative was an FBI operation that was investigating aspiring in our colleges and universities, which just about every major university president in America would admit there's a problem. China sends students over here. Uh, they want to volunteer to be in our research and, and development programs, and they steal our intellectual property and send it back to China. This has been happening for a decade. Every university president knows it. But when Joe Biden became president, one of the first things he did was cancel the China initiative because they said it was racially profiling these Chinese students in the United States. I, I, I'm sorry, first of all, um, the Biden administration has been as hawkish on China as literally any administration in, in history. It's not enough, Emma, it's, it's a, not enough. Yeah, they gotta be like immediate like red scare politics, let's go. But two, the way he talks, I mean, it reminds me of like, you know when you have a friend who's dating somebody that's really bad for them and they have to like justify it over and over again as if it's it's like they have crazy mouth and all this stuff that doesn't make sense. You're like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's what that reminds me no, of. No, thousand percent. I had to watch the entirety of that incredibly annoying interview several times because he just wouldn't answer the questions directly as you notice there. I mean, Maria Bartiromo, as crazy as she is, she asked a very specific question there. Is Bi what is Biden getting paid for this? And Comer's like, blah, 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 like mentioning a billion other things without actually addressing the question. And by the way, later in the interview, he did allege that Biden's getting paid, but there's no evidence of that. And by the way, guys, let me just be clear. If there is evidence of that, if there were evidence of that, I'm not trying to protect Biden. We just did a story criticizing Biden ferociously, okay? But there's no evidence. And by the way, Comer claiming that the first thing that Biden did was um, do away with the China initiative. No, that's not the first thing he did. In fact, the China initiative ended in February of 2022. That was not when Joe Biden was inaugurated. And that was not the first thing that Biden did. Now, later in the interview, Comer said that he um, ended up losing track of one of the important informants necessary to prove the case here. <laughs> oh, he's under the couch cushions, I guess. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is my favorite part Total of this whole loser. ordeal. So let's take a look at that. You have spoken with whistleblowers. You have spoken, you also spoke with an informant who gave you all of this information. Where is that informant today? Where are these whistleblowers? Well, unfortunately, uh, we can't track down the informant. Uh, we're hopeful that the informant is still there. The whistleblower knows the informant. The whistleblower is very credible. H hold on a second, Congressman. Did you just say that the whistleblower or the informant is now missing? Well, we, we're hopeful that we can find the informant. Now, remember, these informants are, are kind of in the, the spy business. So uh, they don't make a habit of uh, being seen a lot or, or being high profile or anything like that. Uh, we have basic information with respect to what the informant has alleged, and it's very serious. It alleges uh, that Joe Biden, when he was vice president, was involved in a quid pro quo with a foreign country uh, in exchange for, for foreign aid. All right, uh, big accusation there, Biden engaged in a quid pro quo um, for foreign aid. <laughs> um, but Maria Bartiromo was just like, what is going on here? So she asks again about the missing informant. Are there whistleblowers or informants missing right now? Nine of the 10 people uh, that we've identified that have very good knowledge 
with respect to the Bidens, they're, they're one of three things, Maria. They're either currently in court, they're currently in jail, or they're currently missing. All right, so he clarifies what he means by that later, which I'll get to. But Jenk, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I don't want people to mistake what Maria Bartiromo is doing there. Because it, you might think, oh, she's being skeptical, like a journalist, like no. the informant <laughs> is missing. Where is the informant, right? No, she is a conspiracy theorist. Yep. And she's asking like, where's the informant? What have they done with him? Like these lunatics are like alleging that Biden is snatching up or implying that Biden is snatching up informants and putting them in an unmarked van and getting them out of town. They're either in court or in jail or they're missing. I don't know where. Oh, we got him. We got him. He definitely did it. We got a secret, double secret informant, but he's gone missing. Yeah, he's gone missing because he never existed. Yeah. You're a freaking liar. You're a hilarious joke of a liar. Okay. And by the way, you guys know this? This is a, another funny part of it. He's never even met the informant, he doesn't know who the informant is, he doesn't know that the informant exists. He says that he has a reliable whistleblower who told him about the informant, but now the informant is missing. <laughs> you guys are a joke. And the funny thing is, Biden is corrupt in a thousand different ways. But he's corrupt in the exact same ways that the Republicans are corrupt. They all take donor money, they all serve donors, they all do the same exact things. They all have their family members getting tons of money from all these different places, right? They're all deeply corrupt. But Biden is an old school politician. He does corruption in the standard ways. He, I would just be like shocked. Just like Republicans do. Just like Republicans yeah. do. I would be shocked if he did it in, an, in, in a direct, illegal way. Because he doesn't have to. They all got super rich. All of the corporate Democrats and all the corporate Republicans are multi-millionaires because they did corruption in the standard legalized way. So is Hunter Biden a clown? Yes, he's a clown. Did he try to use his name? Absolutely. If you got something on Hunter Biden, go ahead, deal with him, who cares? But the rest of it on Biden appears to be 100% made up, which is very, very normal. For Republicans. Absolutely. And it's just like it's the standard accusation of nepotism as if that had I mean, we just got out of the Trump administration, guys. We're yeah. really gonna go down this road. I mean, this guy was just on the board of some oil company. It's it's really small ball kind of corruption stuff as as far as it goes uh, in terms of, of politicians um, on that national stage there. But I just I mentioned Seth Rich there. That's what they're trying to drum up. Drum up. They're trying to be like <laughs> Biden dragged the body of the informant to the park and assassinated him or whatever. It's so ridiculous. And all they really have on this particular probe is that there were pics of Hunter Biden and and oh, photos of him smoking uh, smoking substances that were suppressed by Twitter and that they uh, that would have swung the election in some way. In what universe? In what universe? So let's get to the specific, some other specific allegations. So House Republicans have spent months looking into business transactions by Hunter Biden to Emma's point and other relatives of President Joe Biden, but have been unable to show that dealings by Biden relatives with foreign nationals impacted decisions that Joe Biden made as vice president or as president, right? Because that's really the, the key accusation there, that um, foreign nationals are influencing President Joe Biden um, through these deals that they're making with his family members. In a 36 page report released on May 10th uh, that cites bank records and financial transactions by Biden relatives, Comer and his GOP colleagues alleged a pattern of influence peddling. Comer and his fellow Republicans said they will continue to investigate. But what was really interesting is how Comer was treated on Fox News when discussing these allegations. Because Steve Ducey, who I've got no love for, is calling a spade a spade, which I do appreciate. So let's watch. I know the Republicans said that the smoking gun were these financial records that you were able to subpoena and got your hands on. They show that some of the president's relatives were paid more than $10 million from foreign sources between 2015 and 2017. And and your party, the Republican investigators say that that's proof of influence peddling by Hunter and James. 
But that's just your suggestion. You don't actually have any facts to that to that point. You've got, you've got some circumstantial evidence. And the other thing is, of all those names, the one person who didn't profit is uh, there's no evidence that Joe Biden did anything illegally. Well, if you look at the, the laptop and the emails between the president's son and his associates, they went to great lengths to hide Joe's involvement. They even gave him nicknames. They called him the Celtic and the big guy. Oh, wow. Well, then, I mean, wow. <laughs> Nickname's kind of cringy, so let's lock him up. Okay, so look, we cover the laptop. First of all, the big guy, the worst code name in history. So that's not really a code name. That's just calling your dad the big guy, okay? Does anybody think there was a different big guy? Okay, but if you actually look at the emails, Hunter Biden says over and over again, we can't rely on the big guy, we can't speak for the big guy. The big guy's not going to do what we ask him to do. Like it's actually a smoking gun in the reverse, yeah. in the opposite direction. It drives me crazy that no one in media will say things that are super obvious, right? But credit to Ducey there. Yeah. Nice job. I mean, the, a bit of truth broke out on Fox News. That's crazy. Look, you have, to give you a sense of how dishonest and uh, the Comer is, you got the big guy, which is hilarious. Every once in a while, I've seen now a number of interviews where he says Biden did this, and he's referring to Hunter. But he doesn't say Hunter, he just says Biden mm -hmm. as if it's Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. he, this guy's a real piece of crap, okay? And his base is demanding, we want him, whether he did it or didn't, I just pretend he did it, okay? He's like, I'll be your Huckleberry, I'll do it right away, right? So look guys, Republican politicians in my book have lost all credibility. If a Republican politician says something, you would have to have overwhelming evidence for me to believe it's true. Because they have lied now about 2,000 times in a row. So would I believe that Joe Biden has some degree of corruption in some ways? I would believe that in a second. But you would have to have evidence. And you would have to have it not come from a Republican who is a gigantic track record of lying every time he speaks. All the informants are in jail. Okay, well then why don't you go get them? They're apparently right there. You know where they are, they're in jail. Why don't you subpoena them? These are so easy, like, what do you mean missing? Do you think Biden kidnapped him? You're <laughs> saying something super weird. Do you think President Biden kidnapped him? But no, he wants to like goose the base and the base is like, oh, yeah, that means he did it, okay? Guys, it's called evidence. I know you hate it, you don't want it. Now, one more thing, back to the, how uh, much the Democrats suck. Is there a still single strong Democrat in the country? Because when they say Hunter Biden, what should you say, Democrats? Jared Kushner. You're talking about 10 million that Hunter Biden and other Bidens and the uncle and the cousin might have gotten from different sources. Jared Kushner got $2 billion from the Saudis as soon as the election was over. Yep. That is his son in law. It goes, that $2 billion goes into the pocket of his daughter, his beloved daughter. No one thought to make a giant deal out of this. You should be on TV going, Jared Kushner, Jared Kushner, we demand an investigation, $2 billion. I can't believe Donald Trump and his crony family has stolen all this money. They used American taxpayers this and that. And while he was president, he gave the Saudis favors, including helping them to cover up a crime where they dismembered a journalist and they got $2 billion for it. By the way, this also has the element of being true. Unlike their, the $2 billion, they're bragging about it. There's no Democrats that'll ever fight for you, and I'm so sickened by it. This Comer guy should be obliterated. Instead, we're having a debate over it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.